Hi friends! Coming at you live from the Sunshine State. Welcome back to my channel. So happy you guys are here today. I'm going to be taking you thrifting in Tampa. I have done a come thrift with me in Tampa before and I'm going back to Sunshine Thrift but we are checking out a new location in St. Pete. Before that, I'm actually standing outside in front of this brand new store in Tampa called Label Swap. This place, guys, like Gucci shoes for $100, all the designer bags, really affordable stuff. They have been really generous and gifted me a gift card to this store. So I'm going to take you guys in and we are going to shop around the store and then we are going to head to St. Pete and we are going to do some thrifting at Sunshine Thrift. So yeah, I will just be taking you around to some of my favorite thrift stores in Tampa. I'm so excited. I feel like Tampa is going to be the perfect place to get all of my spring summer items. So let's go on head into Label Swap. I'm so excited to see what we find. Hopefully I get some really, really good designer gems. Wow, this place is massive. This is a coach backpack for 160. It is so well made, so cute. I am dying over the shoe collection, guys. $92 for a pair of perfect condition Jimmy Choo's. Like, I think I need to try these on. How gorgeous are these? I'm shopping with my sister today. Hi. <laughs> Show us your shoes that you found. Uh, they're Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's. Sickening. Honestly. And I think they're less than $100, they're right? 90 bucks. 90 bucks? Yeah. What did you find? Um, Stuart Weitzman, $80. They look brand new. They're super comfortable. I love all the colors. So I'm gonna be taking these home with me. They look so perfect with your dress I too. Know, right? I think I might have to try these on. They're like a strappy snakeskin print. Also Stuart Weitzman. How cute. Snakeskin, got the trendy strappy sandal. These would be so cute for spring and summer and they even go like perfectly with this dress. If I wanted to kind of do a nighttime flare with this, I could do like some gold jewelry, these shoes, maybe like a beaded bag or something. I might need to get them. This is a Millie dress for $67. So cute. This reminds me of the dress I'm already wearing, but I love this. It has like a ruffle bottom and all this embroidery kind of design. Zebra is still going strong right now. This is a little mini mink pink dress. Zebra print, this great gold. I've been looking for a dress kind of like this, so I think I'm gonna try it on. I am definitely trying this on. It is a silk set for $24 in the perfect bright orange, which I've been loving lately. Little mini skirt and then like a matching little button down top. I love that they have vintage mixed in here too. That's incredible. My sister's my personal shopper today. Thank you, she just found this adorable dress. It's like a tent style, but I love the accordion pleating. It's really like fun, enlarged, colorful, kind of paisley print. Okay, we're trying it on. Thanks, personal shopper. You're welcome. <laughs> I am dying over this little vintage 90s, 100% silk, $15. I love the yellow and the florals. These sets are really popular right now, I'm like making a comeback. I'm really excited about this one. Check out. This vintage, like enlarged sequin top. How cool!
So these are a pair of the wedgie fit jeans from Levi's. They're one of my favorite cuts of denim. So obviously I don't need them because these are the exact ones that I have, but these are such a good deal. Another tragic case where these are too big for me. I love that. It's like a skinny jean would be really yeah. cute. Or even like little shorts in the summertime. Yes. Or like, I feel like even a paper bag pant like, yeah. would kind of look really cool with that. Okay, this is really loud. I'm kind of low key obsessed with that. Neons are supposed to be one of the biggest spring trends. It looks um, so suede fun. almost ish from afar. But it's just, I think it might be silk. Love this, just the texture of this. Like, this is those fun pieces that you can put in your wardrobe. About to try on, and I am just dying to get some of these pieces on. Let's do this. Try on. She is here for the drama. How incredible is the skirt on this? And this enlarged print, very stretchy, so it's super comfortable. It has all the colors. I've just never seen anything like this. This is a definite maybe. I have too many things, I'm gonna have to narrow them down. Here is this halter Millie dress. Has a little drop waist, bright orange. I feel like it fits perfectly, like hugs me in all the right spots. I mean, it looks like, I look snatched, honey, but where would I wear this? You know, maybe like a garden party. But again, I can't be, I can't be making up places that I'm gonna wear things. I feel like it's beautiful, but it's definitely one of those pieces that is kind of an occasion dress and I don't, really have an occasion to wear it too, so. How adorable is this little yellow floral set? You could totally like tuck it if you wanted to. Just leave it open, wear it as separates. It's so cute, I'm definitely getting this one. I love this and I just tried it on. The skirt's like way too small because the top is a six and the skirt is a four. It's a vintage four which is more like a zero or a two. Some fabulous lady needs this because it is beautiful. Here is this accordion tent style dress. I love the structure of it, but I feel like when I have it on, I don't super love the material that it is. So I think I'll probably pass on this, but I've officially added this silhouette to a must have in my wardrobe. All right, trying the neon trend. I'm kind of really loving it, especially with my bright scarlet red lipstick. I think the shirt is just so fun. All these little fringe tassels hanging on it. I just wanna like shimmy. Usually I find these tops to be a little too cheesy, but this one is incredible. I love the enlarged sequin detail on here, and I love the sound it makes. ASMR. <laughs> I even love the shoulder pads in it. I feel like it kind of gives that like structured design. So I'm leaving with two items, but I'm really excited about them. First, the snakeskin Stuart White's with heels. So good. The second thing that I'm getting is that little silk and tailor set. I know that I will wear it a lot and I like that they're separate so I can totally wear them with other things too. So we just left Label Swap. I'm so excited to wear these pieces and style them up for you guys. After the shopping portion of this video, I will be styling up everything from Label Swap as well as Sunshine Thrift. We are heading to Sunshine Thrift now and I cannot wait to go to this location because I've never gone before and it's one of my favorite places. They have a lot of name brand as well as vintage, which you guys know. That's what I'm here for. We are here for the vintage. Made it inside the Sunshine Thrift in St. Pete. This place is massive. Some of the best stuff I've ever found has been at Sunshine Thrift. So I'm just like getting antsy. I'm already seeing things that I love. I'm really excited to just jump into thrifting here. I am starting in my favorite section, the dress section, and they kind of have them all separated on a little individual rack. So I'm gonna be making my circular rounds between these and I already spot things that I really like. Look at this little mini patchwork dress. I feel like it is a little sheer. Like you can totally see the lights through it and it's rayons. This is an example of fabric that I wouldn't necessarily buy. Even though it's super cute, it's just not hitting that quality factor for me. So I'm not gonna pick this one up, but it is one example of a way that I weed things out. So I'm gonna get looking at all of these dresses and I'll show you what I find. So I was going 
going through these dresses here and on top of one of the racks, I spot something beaded. Beaded bag, it's from Topshop, still has the tags on it, and it's only $4.95. This is gonna be perfect for summer and spring. kidding you this may be one of my best thrift trips yet i found some really incredible stuff i'm going to show you some of my faves right here and then we will head on over to the shoe section first is this indian set like made in india um dead stock vintage yellow has these high-waisted yellow trousers and it goes with that bag i thrifted another incredible summer piece. I love the bright colors. I feel like this would be so cute just layered over a swimsuit as a cover-up. Maybe just tie it up. I have been looking for an accordion skirt cream in my size for so long guys and this one is a little Talbots one. Has the perfect accordion. Bleeding. I'm legit so excited about this. The last thing I found was this linen trench coat from Gap. Has the original tags on it, never worn, in my size, $8.95. I love the little details here. It has kind of like the little open back. I just think this is gonna be a really good find for spring. Gotta keep moving. So let's go head on over to the shoes and we'll see what we can find. I am loving these chunky sold vintage Cole Haan, but in perfect condition shoes. Love that like big thick sole on it. These are super trendy right now and I feel like are so easy to just slip on in the summer. So I'm gonna add these to my cart. These are definitely a little too beat up to get and not my size, but I love all the color blocking situation. So cute. Look at these Nine West little 90s square toe heels, $2.45 really hit the shoe jackpot and they had so many others that weren't my size that were basically in brand new condition. I feel like this thrift store is loaded with goodies today. I think I'm gonna move on to the skirts now. I'm looking for some of those long flowier skirts. Even though I did just find that accordion skirt, I would love to add a few more skirts to my wardrobe. So let's head on over there. over to the tank tops. I feel like tank tops are something that are a little bit harder to find at thrift stores, but I think Florida is gonna be the perfect place to find that perfect tank top. didn't find anything but I was like perusing and I saw this pattern jump out to me and I was like that looks like it's from the 70s look at this gorgeous top brown polka dots these orange and red florals a puff sleeve I am so excited about this one One really awesome tank top that I've been looking for. It's super well made, has these kind of sheer lace panels. The entire strap is lace and it's definitely silk. I'm really excited about it. I have 30 minutes until the store closes. I'm not even gonna try on. I'm just gonna like grab things and go and then I will take them home and style up all the pieces for you guys. So stay tuned after that. But I'm basically gonna be doing a quick fire thrifting through the store. Here are my tips for quick thrift when you're on a time crunch. Look for patterns or colors that you like. Go by feel, by touching and feeling what's quality. And then definitely stick to those areas of the thrift store that you're really looking for things. Don't waste your time if it's summer looking in the winter things. And those are my tips. 
So with that, I think I am going, hmm, I haven't looked at pants. So I think I'm gonna go look at pants and if they have some sets, I'll check those out too. One example of this technique, I was just going through these tops over here and I spotted this ruffled sleeve. I love this. So that jumped out at me, kind of like that 70s shirt jumped out at me. So you just gotta keep your eyes on those textures and colors and go by feel. And you can find some pretty good stuff in like 30 minutes, it's crazy. All right, there's 15 minutes till closing. They legit just turned off the lights. So I'm gonna weave through the items in my cart super quick, not trying anything on. We'll hope it fits. You guys are not going to believe what I found. Like, not going to believe it. I seriously got so much stuff, even though I didn't have that much time here. I'm gonna take it all back and style everything up for you guys and show you the designer thing that I found. You will die. Bye, sunshine! Here is the first look. So the linen trench, it's a little gap trench. It was new with tags. This was one of the pieces I picked up at Sunshine Thrift. If it was still a little bit colder where you live, you could just wear it open. I'd probably do it with a pair of like light wash jeans or maybe a pair of linen pants. Since it's summertime, it's really warming up here. I decided to wear it as a dress. I kind of pushed the sleeves up to make it a little bit more spring, summer. Did my little Dior saddlebag with it. My shoes, I showed you guys, they are incredible. The Stuart Weitzman little strappy snakeskin sandals. I love the little added texture to it with the snakeskin and just feel like they kind of elevate the whole look. No pun intended. So that is my look number one. I feel very classy in this. I am feeling all the tropical summer vibes in this outfit. The showstopper piece is obviously this crazy cool 80s button down. It is like a sportswear brand from the 80s. So I loved the colors in this one. It has these enlarged little leopards all over them. I would ideally style it kind of like as a beach cover up, obviously because we don't have any beaches here in Nashville. Probably wear it like just tucked in with a pair of uh, denim shorts like this. These are a pair of men's Levi's that were cut into shorts. This little top is a swimsuit top I got on Amazon. This is a little straw hat I got at Target last year. Another one of my thrift finds from Sunshine Thrift is this cute little acrylic striped beaded bag from Topshop. It was brand new with tags. So I had to get it, I think it was under $5, and I think this one was under $3, this top. And then the last item that I am wearing from Sunshine are these really adorable little Cole Haan. I love the chunky sole because these were really popular during the fall and winter, so I think they'll kind of continue with the chunky sandal. So that is look number two. I just need a pool or a beach to go to. On the opposite side of the previous outfit, we now have an entirely neutral outfit, very classy, would not wear this to the beach, but I love a great neutral in the summertime, an all cream or all white look, just always looks so classy. I have a few little touches of brown in the shoes and in my belt. The piece I got from Sunshine Thrift was this accordion pleated cream skirt. It is a little bit wintry, I would say, but I think a really good transitional piece into spring. In the winter, I probably would have worn this with like a chunky oversized sweater, but now it's getting very warm here, so I decided to wear a little sweater tank that I also thrifted. I think they're both 90s. This is a little 90s express sweater tank that I've had for a while. For my accessories, I went with this little slide-on suede little shoe I got last year and then this is a little like 1960s uh, it's actually plastic market tote and this is one of my kind of go-to bags I always wear in the summertime that is my number three look very neutral very classy but very beautiful here is another piece that I got from label swap it is that little 90s silk and tailor set I have the top kind of tucked in here it's so feminine. I love the pretty yellow with like the pink floral details on it. And I love a good set. I feel like this is 
very, very Reformation-esque. These little 90s sets are definitely making a comeback right now. I did style it up with a few of my other finds. Actually, just this bag. This is a little 90s uh, brown wood beaded bag. Has the little flap. And then I have these little black heel mules I got a while ago from an old navy outlet literally like two years ago. Love how it all pairs together. So this is the fourth look. We have one final look and I'm finally showing you guys the designer handbag I found. Get ready. You guys are going to die. Here is my fifth and final look. I haven't thrown on the bag yet just because I want to talk through the outfit and then I'll bring out the bag. But this top is actually a really, really well-made um, little silk camisole. It has these lace kind of see-through panels, the really, really pretty lace detailing along the sleeve. Again, my Levi's rib cage denim. I will link them below as well. These are my go-to, and this is kind of a date night look for me, like kind of a casual date night. And then another find were these little 90s Nine West square toe they have a little angled sort of strap in the front angled block heel i feel like these are super on trend right now and i think i paid like three dollars for them so really pumped about those all right now for the piece that you guys have all been waiting for the bag reveal i honestly don't know if you guys are ready but i don't even know i have no words I literally have no words for this find. Best thrift find of my entire life. This is the Gucci Marmot bag. I think retails, let me check. $2,590 doll hairs. Obviously I haven't gotten it authenticated yet. I'm not going to send it anywhere in the meantime, but I did do a lot of research on it and it looks, if it's not real, then it is a damn good fake because every single thing about it looks real. It has the serial number, the micro suede inside, real leather. It's substantial, y'all. You will never guess how much I paid for this. 30 doll hairs for a $2,500 bag. I truly just could not believe this find and it was just on the way out. I saw it hanging up with the other bags behind the register and was like, there's no way that can be real. I start going through it. I'm like, all signs point to yes. Like all signs say that this is real. And even if it's not $30 ain't bad. So I was just like, okay, she's mine. She's mine. They had apparently, um, priced it that day. It does have one minor issue. The little clasp here is stuck inside the closure there. So that would just be a super easy fix on it. And I think that's why they only charged $30 for it. But after I got it up to the register, I found the girl that priced it that day. And I was like, yeah, like you just made my entire life. I, I literally cannot believe that I found this. Find of a lifetime. I'm so happy. Derek and I are getting a divorce because I'm marrying this bag. Okay, I'm just going to hold my bag till the end of the video because I love it so much. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I know that you're probably itching to get out there thrifting. So I hope I could help scratch that itch a little bit. Tell you about my best day thrifting ever style up these outfits for you guys, give you some inspiration for dressing up, even if it's within your own house. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram to see how I style up all of my thrifty finds. And until next time, bye!